Hi, this is Steve McCann from phillygatecalendar.com. We're here with uh, the cast and crew from uh, Kinky Crusaders. Uh, welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you. Thank you. You're Glad a hometown boy. Yes, I am a hometown boy. Philly's my hometown. Grew up here and I'm back. And you're sort of a Philly boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm originally uh, from New Jersey. Well, welcome back. Now, so tell us a little bit about this movie. Um, the impetus, uh, I guess, for the film is the director, Mike Skiff, uh, was a, a cameraman, one of the official cameramen for the IML in the National Mr. Leather in Chicago for about, I want to say about eight years. And he sort of got it, uh, the bug in his bonnet, you know, to be in his bonnet to sort of figure out what's, what if there's really a story behind all that and if it's a story that's been done. He did some research and seen that it hadn't been done to that level. They've done like feeder contests before, you know, like the little local contest. And he decided to do something that was more encompassing, more comprehensive. So he decided to do King Crusaders. And I came in, my participation, I came in for post-production, which I put the film together. So um, with co-production and editing, I was the guy. So what you'll see on the screen is what I spent six months putting. It's your baby. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's it's a collaboration. I definitely wanted to share, I definitely wanted to share the parental rights, you know. Uh, but I definitely put um, probably about six months to, to uh, eighty something hours of footage to see, get that seventy four minutes you're going to see on the screen. And your role in the play? Well, I was a reporter on the scene and the uh, liaison between uh, the leather community and the camera crew. Uh, several years prior to our doing it, this uh, film a Christian group had infiltrated uh, IML and took some footage and used it in uh, used it against us, basically. <laughs> used it against the community. So my part was to be able to go in and rep the film, uh, represent uh, Third Rail Media, and uh, represent that we were legitimate. So uh, I reached out to the uh, community of color, to the uh, female community, the disabled uh, participants. So I was the guy that would walk in and say, uh, we're legit, can we talk to you? We're not going to use this against you. We're not going to use it against <laughs> right. you. So, doing this documentary on IML, what do you think was the, the biggest misconception people had about IML? You want to answer? Well, I think the big, biggest misconception about IML, and most people, a lot of people don't even know about IML, but the biggest misconception of the leather lifestyle, BDSM lifestyle, is that you're going to be made to do something you don't want to do, that it's dangerous, that it's spooky, that uh, you're going to get hurt. And I think our film shows a loving, caring, really diverse community. Um, and I see, from what I've seen, the biggest misconception for me my, uh, personally that I saw was uh, that it was a very gender biased, very uh, monochromatic, you know, so it was very white male, you know, just alpha male sort of environment. And what we illustrate in the documentary is that, you know, it's a very much of a come one, come all, you know, there's plenty of room at the buffet for everybody, whatever your sexual taste, proclivities are, that there's a lot of... Um, welcome this there's a lot of uh, open there's always a, a open hand and instead of that you know the closed fist you know approach to the leather community and I think that that's what most people will probably take away is that they will absolutely see themselves in some aspect uh, on the screen anything surprise you when filming this movie that you learned along the way some of the reactions to some of the passers-by were very surprising and really sometimes very endearing <laughs> Some people who would have might have been spooked by the community have really had their eyes opened up. You know, we had some uh, straight participants in this film. Uh, there was one gentleman who uh, from L.A., from the L.A. area, Long Beach, actually, who was uh, straight, and he got a lot of flack from his uh, straight brothers. But he was able to stand up, do the contest, and win their respect. And so what's... Okay, we're going to wrap. Okay, well, then uh, going to the after party then? Yes, okay. sir. Okay, well, then we'll see you there. Go watch King Crusaders.